All right, game two of the year, Rangers versus Cubs. Cody Bradford starts with a strikeout. I really like what Cody Bradford brings to the table this year, and I hope he can be a huge piece in that rotation. And um, I like his stuff a lot, but he needs to control the fastball better if he wants to become an effective pitcher. But he seems to be effective, gets two outs to start the game, and then Cody Bellinger comes up. He gets a pop-up from Bellinger. I was very satisfied with this start from Cody Bradford. And then, so we fast forward to the next inning. Christopher Morell gets a single off of Bradford, and so that'll bring up Dansby Swanson. You can see Morell just smacks it through, and then Dansby Swanson comes up. Fastball, this has been the problem with Bradford throughout his career. Swanson bangs it just over the wall. You could tell, like, off the crack of the bat it was gone. Langford gets a single, and so things are looking up. Maybe the Rangers can get closer, maybe get within a run. Nope, Jared Walsh has other ideas. Big, big home run. His first homer as a Ranger, long gone, halfway up the the seats in right field. Long home run for Jared Walsh. I'm happy for him because he's been struggling with a lot in the past couple of years, and he just tomahawks this into the stands. Then next inning, Adolis Garcia uses his just raw strength to smack it the other way like a left-hander and get it just over the wall off of Kyle Hendricks. I knew Hendricks would struggle because he's a soft tosser against this hard-hitting lineup. Seager drives in another. Corey Seager, I believe, ends up with four hits in this game. Then you got Josh Young against the rookie, Ben Brown. Ben Brown strikes him out, so things are looking up for the Cubs. And it's like, oh my goodness, Ben Brown with a nasty pitch to strike him out. But then oh, all of a sudden, he's struggling. Two hits in a row against Ben Brown. And now you got second and third with, I believe, nobody out at this point. Marcus Simeon comes up to the plate, captain of the Rangers team, and he smacks one into left field off the glove of Christopher Morrell. Now a 6-2 game, Walsh scampers home. And then we've got next batter, Corey Seager, smashes one off of Brown's ankle. He can't do anything about it. Base is loaded, 7-2 to two now. And then we fast forward, Josh Young, it's now 9-2. to two. And Josh Young decides, I want to make it 11-2, to two, a rocket into the upper deck in left field. The crowd loves it. And when you look at this, it was just a hanging curveball right to the barrel, and he smacks it out. Ninth inning, Brock Burke finishes off an 11-2 to two Ranger win. And things are looking up as the Rangers have started 2-0 in the 2024 season.